Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm going to do a coffee pot comparison. One, two, three, four, five, six coffee makers. So on the far left, I've got Mr. Coffee. This one claims to be kind of a quicker brew. I've got the Braun Brew Sense. This is the Cuisinart. This is a 14 cup. The rest of them are these two are 12 cup. This is a 14 cup. One of Cuisinart's most popular coffee makers. This is Black & Decker's Vortex Brew, really popular. This is the Hamilton Beach uh, Easy Access because you can fill the water up and get to the filter from the front. But this one's also connected to Alexa. They have two versions. They have one that's connected to um, Alexa and the other one that's not connected to the Wi-Fi. But I've got a detailed review on how you can control your coffee maker with your Alexa device. And my traditional, my, my dad's all-time favorite, the one he always used, Bun, and he still uses to this day. Bun Speed Brew. Now, it's a 10 cup. 12 cup, 12 cup, 14, 12, 12. Now, today I'm going to do just six cups. I don't want to waste a bunch of coffee, but I do want to see these all side by side. I'm kind of anxious about this. I've been, I've been really liking to do my um, comparison videos, so I thought, well, I've got kind of one of each major brand. Uh, Black & Decker, Mr. Coffee, Braun, Cuisinart, Hamilton Beach, and Bun. Now, the Bun's a little different. It's, it's set up a little different. It's got hot water in the back ready to go. So it's definitely going to be the fastest. These are standard percolator coffee makers. You put the water in the back. It's going to heat it up and send it out the front. So check out my other YouTube channel where I cut open, I cut open coffee makers, not exactly these, but from the same manufacturer, and they all pretty much brew coffee the same. There's this horseshoe heating element that's in the bottom of all these coffee makers, except the bun. The bun's different, but these all have this horseshoe heating element. The water comes in, it gets heated, boiled, and sent up to the brew head. And then this also keeps the warming plate warm. And here's the inside of it, what it looks like. I cut it open. And in my other video, you would actually be surprised how similar these coffee makers look on the inside. I mean, they look so different on the outside, but on the inside, they pretty much just all have this. So a bun coffee maker is a little different. It's got a water reservoir back here that keeps the water hot. I cut open a similar bun coffee maker, not quite, a little different model number, but the same theory. This is if you don't descale your bun coffee maker because it's it's holding the water all the time and when you put the new water in, it just displaces the hot water. That's why they call them speed brews and they brew so quick because the water is, is hot all the time, ready to go. So I kept this Cuisinart that I cut open. You'll see that the they all have a water reservoir in the back and then in the bottom, there's that heating element that heats the water and sends it up in a tube up to the brew head to brew the coffee. And they all pretty much look the same with this horseshoe heating element. So I have detailed reviews on each of these coffee makers and also how to descale them. But again, uh, let's just go over some just highlights. Program Mr. Coffee's programmable and it is a little bit quicker. It does have a big opening. Uh, we can see the tallness. The Black & Decker fails. It's the tallest of all of them. Uh, none of these. Th these will not fit underneath a cabinet. This one will, the bun will, and this one will too. But you got to get to the back of there. So around the back, you're going to put the water in the back. That's where the water is going to go. This has a water filter. You know, they all kind of look similar around the back. The brew head, you know, this one's this. The brew head's up here brew head up here. This is called a vortex brew head. Can't see the brew head and we can't see the brew head. It's up in here. Again, I've used, I'm using six tablespoons of coffee because we're going to use, we're brewing a six cup of coffee. So I always brew mine at one tablespoon per cup. Again, this takes a basket. The bun takes a special filter. They're a little taller and you really need to use a bun coffee filter. The rest of these take standard coffee filters. This is a basket. A basket now this is cone this is a number four cone number four cone and again these are just regular basket filters 
coffee pots all look the same. They just have their little take on it, you know. And the buns seems a little smaller. They all have warming plates. They're all going to keep the coffee warm when you're done. Looks like, yeah, they're all programmable. This one, you got to do it through the Alexa app. It does have a, this model that doesn't, is not connected to the Wi-Fi, also has a program button that you can connect it to the program. This, it's, it's very, no programming. It's just on or off. And, and the buns are a little different now. This is just for the warmer. It's got the switch back there that keeps that tank on all the time. So you got to keep that switch on all the time unless you go on vacation. Otherwise, these coffee, these other coffee makers are never on. The bun is on all the time, keeping the water warm. Brew heads, we went over that. Water reservoirs, again. Black and Decker does have a nice big opening to put the water. The water reservoir for the Hamilton Beach is right there, but it's got this nice convenient place to pour the water in and it goes in the back. Let me just show, show, the, show the cone ones are a little different. Um, I actually do like cone filters. I do think they brew just a little bit smoother, a little bit of a, just a, maybe more of a genuine coffee taste. I don't know how a um, cone filter can do that, and I don't know why there's a difference, but I do notice the cone filters are a little better. But my go-to is I use a bun every day just because it's a speed brew, and in four minutes I got a cup of coffee. I've got a whole pot of coffee all the way up to the tin. So I've got the water in them. I got these all ready to go. I'm going to try to press the buttons at the same time. So let's put the lids down. We'll put that in. Make sure that is snapped. I've got the water in here already. When I close this lid, it'll send the water back to the back and start brewing. So I'll do it last. So let's turn them on. On. Brew. 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 And I just close the lid. I'll turn the burner on. This is just for the warming plate. So we can sit back and time them, see how long they, but just pretty much see how long they take compared to each other. So the bun, I've got coffee coming out right away. Looks like the brawn was, well, no, the Mr. Coffee was next. They do claim this one to be a little faster, and it actually is. Then the bun, then the Black & Decker. Still nothing out of the Cuisinart. And the Hamilton Beach, Hamilton Beach has just started. This one, it's kind of um, a sleeper, you know. Um, if you look at the label on the box, it does say it does brew faster, and it does brew faster. That Mr. Coffee is a really nice coffee maker. We can sort of peek in. You know, these, the brew head's in the lid, so I can't do it too much. That's what it's doing. Same with that. Same with the Black & Decker. I can't open this and I can't open this. So the bun is up to five already. It's just pretty much a continuous stream coming out. You don't, the bun, you don't get that standard percolator sound. Like these all sound like it's heating the water and then shooting it up into the thing. These waters, these lights don't flash. They're on steady. So if we look at this, I really like, the Black & Decker display is the nicest. This one, I'm, I was really impressed with how you can use your Amazon device to turn it on. So. You can be laying in the bed in the morning, and if you've got everything all set, ready to go, um, and you select this brew, ready to brew, so that the Amazon device can take control of it later, you can get up in the morning and tell it to turn your coffee maker on. This, I think, is the future, because these are all a certain time, like 
I can program this to come on at 5.15 in the morning. But I think with everybody's schedule, kind of, oh, Monday I work at 5 in the morning, Tuesday I work at 6, or Saturday or Friday I may not work at all. This one I think is going to be the future because you can just lay in bed and say you slept in that day, and then you can just help to start your coffee maker laying in bed tell your Amazon device. So really, you're not really setting a time every day. You're just, hey, I know when I wake up, start the coffee maker, I take my shower. By the time I get out of the shower and up, my coffee's going to be ready to go. There, as far as I know, there's only a couple of coffee makers that, that use the Amazon Alexa device. Now this one, Mr. Coffee, we're up to four. Don't go, I, I messed up. Put, there's a few coffee grounds in there. That's not from the machine. When I was dumping the coffee grounds in, I made a mess. So that, that'll have a few coffee grounds floating in it just from my air. Uh, so again, Mr. Coffee, four. Brawn, maybe three. Cuisinart looks like the slowest. Followed by the Black & Decker, maybe two. And followed by the Hamilton Beach. Okay, so we're, I, we're up to six already. I was waiting for it to get to 10. This one's done brewing. The speed brew's done. So we've got that standard percolator sound going. And again, I can't open these. So the bun is done. You know, they call them speed brews for a reason. And I can kind of show you, there's what its coffee grounds look like. It doesn't have pause brewing. So, you know, the buns are very basic. There's no, there's no pulling it out and see how you get a pause. And then when you put it back in, it starts brewing again. There's none of that with the, with the bun. This one's pretty much finishing up because I'm not going to get a complete six out. Okay, so this one beeped at me. This one's still brewing. This one, the brawn is kind of loud towards the end. So this one was next. And again, I'm probably going to be about the five and a half. I, I'll never make it up to six because with these, you lose so much to the steam and everything. And there's a little bit of water draining out still. Looks like the bronze going to be next. Black and Decker, and the Beach are about the same. Cuisinart looks like it's going to be the last. But this this Cuisinart gets some really good reviews, and it's a 14 cup coffee maker, so you can make a really big pot of coffee. So the Mister Coffee does beep at you. The black and decker seem to be the loudest, other than when the brawn towards the end. Now the bronze finishing up. It looks like it's about done too. We're at the five cup mark, so it's almost done. So if I had to say there was a loudest that was just kind of like continually the loudest was. So the black and decker switched to a time. It shows you a countdown of how long the coffee pot's been sitting there. Cuisinart gets a little loud towards the end too. Hamilton Beach has been really quiet. Get a lot of steam coming out of the... You always get a lot of steam out of these percolators when they towards the end of their brew process. This one's been done. So I'd say the brawn finished next. Followed by, you know, oh, see there's still some water draining out of the black detector. You know, the Cuisinart, ooh, that was hot. Hot, be careful. Uh, followed by the Hamilton Beach. How about we use something else to lift it up with? Yeah, I'd say the Cuisinart's done. 
So definitely the Mr. Coffee, but they advertise this one to be a little quicker. But the bun was definitely done first. So the Cuisinart beeped at me to let me know it's done. Black and Decker, yeah, looks like it's pretty well done. Let's, and if you got dogs, dogs don't like the beeps. So this one beeps, this one beeps, but you can turn the tone off. And these don't beep at you. So I think there's just two here that beep at you. So let's see how they pour. Just do a really quick, these things cool off so quick. So 160, okay. One sixty seven. You know, 165. So relatively all within five degrees of each other. That's pretty remarkable, actually. Let's look at the uh, coffee grounds. Again, I'm not a coffee expert, but I just want to show everybody how the coffee grounds did. And I use the same amount of coffee grounds. Again, the cone filters, they just do a different type of brew. You know, with a basket, it kind of spreads out. There's the cone. There's six tablespoons of coffee in there. There's the Black & Decker. Now let's take a look at the Hamilton Beach. Hamilton Beach does a really good job. And then again, the, the bun. It's been done for a while, so it probably looks the driest. Now the next thing, um, these are all really hot to taste right now. I have tasted the coffee in all of them. I'm not a coffee expert by no means whatsoever. Um, and I don't know if I'm just being biased, but you know, my dad had a bun. I have a bun now. It's what I've been using. Um, I really like the taste of the bun. What I notice is, is I don't notice a big difference. So for the convenience of the bun, the quickness, um, you know, I like that and it tastes really good to me. Now these all taste really good too. Um, if I had to choose one, you know, these cone filters are hard to beat. I don't know what it is about them. Um, I've had some really good cups of coffee from a cone coffee maker. But again, is it that big a difference? No, I, I don't think so. Um, the Black & Decker seemed like it was a good one. These were all really good ones. I think I've saved these because these were kind of my favorites. Um, this one's definitely faster. You know, you don't expect a uh, percolator coffee maker to be fast. They're all pretty much one cup every minute. Um, so when you do six cups, it's six minutes. When you do uh, 12 cups, it's 12 minutes. That's a pretty good rule of thumb. This one beats that by about a couple minutes on each on. So for a six cup, it took about four minutes. For 12 cups, it takes about eight or nine minutes. That's, that's really good. You know, they all clean up about the same. They've got a filter basket you take out. There's no big difference there. Everything's dishwasher safe. So let's talk displays and controls. This one's fine. It's not backlit. A little hard to see at an angle. Now Braun. Now Braun's been making coffee makers for a while. I like their coffee makers. Um, they're very nice. You can tell it's very well made. Their controls can get a little complicated. Um, so, and the display looks okay, but they've got a newer model that looks about the same, but the control, they got a lot going on with these coffee makers. There's a lot. Uh, it has a cleaning function, has a clean light that comes on. You can set the hard water softness. So those can get a little complicated. Um, the Cuisinarts, now the Cuisinarts to me, 
are very good coffee makers, but they tend to look different. Um, you know, these Black & Decker's coming out with some really fancy ones too, and this Vortex, I mean, I don't think that's a big deal, but um, the Cuisinarts, um, you'll see them, they got knobs and twisty dials and needles and stuff. Um, they get kind of fancy, but this one's nice. You can turn the tone off. You don't see that very often. I like the display. It's backlit. The Black & Decker, I think, has the nicest display. Easy to read. This one was also the easiest to set the program and to set the brew. This is a very nice coffee maker. The Hamilton Beach is very nice. Now, setting up the Wi-Fi um, was a little complicated. I did two videos on just setting up the Wi-Fi and making it work with your Alexa. It's doable. It's just a little complicated. But I walk you through step by step on how to do that. But this is a very nice cof coffee maker. And then the bun. Um, it's just an old reliable. There's nothing fancy about it. Okay, one thing I forgot. Mr. Coffee, $30. Bun, $65. Cuisinart, $100. Black & Decker, $35. Hamilton Beach, now the, the Hamilton Beach without the Alexa is... 41 with the Alexa smart Wi-Fi it's 90 and my bun is a hundred bucks So big price differences, you know, the mr. Coffee for 30 30 dollars did a remarkable job um, I Really can't justify paying hundred dollars for a Cuisinart unless you want that big 14 cup one uh, This one might be worth it if you wanted the Alexa The black and Decker uh, for 35 is also a very good, but it's also very tall so I forgot the prices and I'm going to add, so this is why I'm adding the prices to the video. So I guess the point I'm trying to make here is they've all got kind of different bells and whistles, but on the inside, they all pretty much work about the same, except you do have cone filters and you do have the bun is a little different. So if you have any questions on these, again, check out my detailed videos on each one of these. I also do a, a D scale on each one. I hope this video helped. Uh, leave your comments down below. I'm doing something a little different. This is a little out of the ordinary, but I was super excited about doing it. Um, it just, it's just fun to do. I'm really enjoying these videos, and I hope they're helping people. That's the main reason behind my, my um, videos. I want to help people. And I've started to get some stuff. I've got some Just a Dead video um, stickers. I'm going to be doing some live streams. I'm going to be giving them out during there. Um, they're super cheap, but they're kind of cool. And uh, I'll be giving those out for free. If you email me at justadadvideos.com, I'll be uh, giving those out for free for a while. So again, thanks everybody for your support. Everybody's been very support supportive. I get the nicest comments on my YouTube videos from people. Um, I think people were just kind of in the same boat as me three years ago. I never drank coffee in my life. It always seemed uh, intimidating. And so... As I started to learn coffee makers and coffee pots, I just saw a need to help people. And I guess I'm kind of going a little overboard. I'm buying tons of coffee makers and I'm buying a bunch of cure eggs. And, you know, the basement's full of coffee makers and coffee pots, but I'm really enjoying it. I think I'm helping people, and that's the main purpose behind my videos. I just want to help others. It's not, um, it's not that complicated. It is complicated, but we can make it simple, and we can go through this journey together. So thanks everybody for your support. I really appreciate it. If you could, please like and subscribe.